my previous video, we've talked about how to choose coffee, Robusta or Arabica. So let's move on. This time we'll talk about different greens and brewing methods. Hey everyone, I'm Ola and I want to make recipes from the game My Cafe Recipes and Stories. I'm a newbie in coffee making, that's why I need help from Roman, a professional barista from JS Barista Training Center. Hi. Roman knows everything about coffee and is also a very good teacher. So let's learn together. A lot of people make coffee either in the cup or in the espresso machine. But few people know that there are many more ways to brew coffee, around 10 or even more. First of all, you choose a brewing type according to the coffee grind. Yes. You grind coffee in a coffee grinder, which we should test. It can be professional. Or do you know these home grinders, the manual ones? Yes, there are manual coffee grinder, and we have one here in our class. A coffee grinder must have different positions to choose the appropriate green type. There are four main green types. The first cup has extra fine green. Second is fine green. Third is medium and the last one is coarse green. Mm. As you see, the little coffee fractions in these cups look very different. Oh yes, they do. First of all, you need to distinguish them visually. Yeah, to define which green you see. After that, you need to learn their extractions. So, you need to take coffee with your fingers and rub it with hands. Oh, right in my fingers? Yes. It feels like sand. Yes, it reminds flour. If you look at your, at your fingers, you will see that they are dirty. Yes, they are dirty and oily from coffee. This means that you have extra fine green. Extra fine green is only used for Turkish coffee. Coffee from the Middle East, it's also called Cezve or Ibrik. This is how it should look like. It's made from copper and covered with silver from inside. This cheswe is used for Turkish coffee. And so it must be made of copper and silver from inside? Yes, you need silver because it doesn't add any flowers to coffee. And copper has good heat transmission. That's why it's so good. Okay, so we only need extra fine green for Turkish coffee, right? That's right, this kind of green. Get the other hand into coffee. Let's take fine grit and rub it in fingers. Its oils are not so well expressed. Fine grit is more universal. It can be used in espresso machines and it also works for stove top pots. A stove top pot looks like this. Yeah, I used to have one in childhood, just like that. It's also called mocha. It has three main parts. The bottom chamber is filled with cold water. It also has a little valve. What is it valve for? When you brew coffee and the filter is set on the bottom chamber, uh, water boils and the pressure runs it through a tube to a filter basket. Uh -huh. Water goes through a layer of ground coffee and funnels to the top chamber as a ready to drink coffee. Steam goes through the valve, which means the coffee is brewed. That's a long process. And there is no water in the bottom chamber. Then you take it from the heat and pour into cups. Okay, I see. As for espresso machine, it requires more skills. Coffee is brewed under water pressure, which equals 9 bars. For instance, when you open your water tap, the pressure there is around 3-4 bars. Oh! Water streams through a thin pump under pressure at 9 bars and has speed at 60 miles per hour. 60 miles per hour! Thus, espresso is extracted and we drink it from the cup. Espresso cup is called demitasse, half cup from French. It's beautiful and it must be warm. Any cup for any brewing method should be warm. Why should it be warm? Do you eat food from a cold dish? Coffee also should be poured to a warm cup, because otherwise it's cold and it's not so bright when you drink it. And how don't you burn yourself when you drink coffee? You should brew it at the right temperature and you should drink it straight away. Okay, so I have prepared espresso, so when should I drink it? You should drink it within 30 seconds. Really? Yes. Espresso brewing temperature is 88 and 95 degrees. But when coffee is in cup, the temperature is 75, 80 degrees. It's a temperature comfortable for drinking. Mm. Top part of espresso is called crema and it contains the main coffee flavor. So, when we drink espresso, we enjoy the bright extract from coffee tea. Okay, let's 
talk about the next green. Next green is called medium. We, we use it for alternative brewing methods, mostly for aeropress and prover. Yeah. Sometimes it's also used for stove tops. Then it depends on the port filter size, as it can be different and different greens can be used. I also want to show you aeropress. It was invented around 10 years ago. That's a small thing. It's made from a special material used in NASA. It's a special carbon fiber designed for coffee making. It's very light. Yes, it is very light. You can take it anywhere. It also doesn't cost so much and can be widely used. Hmm, yeah, that's convenient. But you will need some accessories to it. You put a paper filter here and then close it. You can try it. Oh, wow, I can't even open it. I'm so weak. Okay, I will help you. So, you open it, put the filter and close it. Then you put the device on cup, add coffee and water. You stir it with a pedal. You need to stir it, because you let oxygen in, it gets into coffee and make it brighter. And then you use the second cylinder. By the way, it's the only alternative method when you use pressure. Mm -hmm. So, mm, then you push the cylinder and air pressure extracts coffee. It's actually smoother. Just now we don't have coffee and water in it. So, this device is really convenient and very portative. Or we can also use pour over. We can use this pot boss for tea or coffee making. Okay. You put dripper on top. Mm. It has an advantage when you put filter there. Okay. The rifflers in the dripper let oxygen in and make it contact with coffee, thus making it taste brighter. Now we have coarse grain. We have come to coarser grain. This grain is mostly used for tasting called cupping. We also use it for chemics. This device reminds of sandwich. It is a pot and we use a filter for it. We put coffee in the filter, add water and get quite a rich coffee. Mm, can I take a random picture, put a filter and coarse ground coffee in it? Yes, but first you need to warm it up. And you need a filter that fits perfectly, because if it doesn't fit to the sides, coffee will fall down. Oh, uh, I see, yeah, it has a very narrow neck. You can find different flavors and aromas in coffee, flowers, fruit and berries. That's why you need alternative brewing to fill those flavors. Mm. If you have tasty bright coffee and if you can green coffee yourself, you can try different brewing methods, the result will be bright and tasty. I also want to add something about coarse grind. We have a couple of other brewing methods. One of them is drip coffee. Yep. The technology was once forgotten, but now it's coming back. Hmm. You need to differ espresso, americana and americana from the drip machine. Americana with foam is espresso americano. Americana from drip machine is a black drink, which we make at home. Oh. Its color is very dark and it has a thick structure. These are two different drinks. Espresso Americana is a coffee extract with water. Or it can be Americana from drip machine, which is made out of 50 grams of Americana for one liter of water. Another brewing device is called French press. Oh, I know it. What kind of green do we need there? We also need coarse green for it. And coffee is brewed for 5-7 minutes there. Thank you for watching guys, next video will be about how to roast coffee.